Hi listeners, welcome to the video lecture series on power electronics. In the previous video, we have discussed about the necessity of series and parallel connections of SCRs. Also, we have discussed about the series connection of SCRs and the voltage imbalancing problem. In this video, we are going to look into a method called static equalization method which corrects this voltage imbalancing problem. Let us go into the lecture. Voltage imbalances can be equally balanced by adding a resistance across the SCR. It is something like this, putting a resistor across the SCR. So, let us assume that I have one SCR which is having a resistance of R across it and the voltage across this particular resistance let it be VBM and this particular SCR is having a leakage current, total current entering into this SCR is I and let the leakage current through this SCR in its off condition. As we told that even though this SCR is off, there will be some amount of current which will be flowing through the device and let that current be IBMN. This is the current passing through the SCR which I call it as the leakage current and current through this resistance let it be I1. So, when I try to apply the Kirchhoff's current law equation at this node at this particular node, I can write I is equal to IBMN plus I1 because this is entering current, these two currents are leaving current. So, I is equal to IBMN plus I1 or I can write I1 is equal to I minus IBMN. So, that is what I written here. I1 is equals to I minus IBMN and let me keep this equation as equation 1. Now this current enters here divides into IBMN and I1 and here again I1 comes and IBMN comes so again it becomes total I. Now let us assume that I am going to connect another SCR at this point but this SCR which I am going to connect do not have the same leakage current like IBMN it is having some other leakage current. So, the number of SCRs which I am going to connect here from this point forward, will, let it be all the SCRs will have same leakage current but it is different from IBMN. So, let us me consider that another SCR which I am going to connect it here and this current I enters here and this I is divided into this leakage current and this I2. So, I can write I is equals to at this junction if I try to write I is equals to this leakage current plus I2 and similarly I have many SCRs of similar nature. The important point to be understood here is all this blue color SCR has same leakage current whereas this uh, rose color SCR pink color SCR is having different leakage current which is IBMN. So, this leakage current of this blue color SCRs let it be IBMX and it has total of N minus 1 SCRs. Total is N SCRs in it of which N minus 1 SCRs have similar characteristics in leakage current whereas one SCR is having different leakage current uh, value. So, this is what the problem under consideration. So, now in this string, in this total string, one SCR has different leakage currents whereas the remaining SCRs have same amount of leakage current which I call it as IBMX. So, if I try to write the Kirchhoff's current law equation or Kirchhoff's nodal law equation at this particular point I is equals to IBMX plus I2 or I can write I2 is equals to I minus IBMX. This is what it is written here I2 is equals to I minus IBMX which I call it as equation 2. Now this current enters here splits into two IVN and IBMN comes out as I again here and again it splits into two IBMX and I2 comes and join here again it comes as I and finally it will come out as I totally. So the total string voltage now here I have N SCRs with N minus 1 with same characteristics and 1 SCR with different leakage current value. So the total string voltage let it be Vs. So, this I is what you call it as the string current. So, I is the total string current. So, if I try to uh, rewrite this expression 1, 
from expression 1 I can write I is equals to I1 plus IBMN and from expression 2 I can write I is equals to I2 plus IBMX. So equation 3 and 4 if you look at the left hand side of this equation is equal to I. So I can equate equation 3 and 4 which gives me I1 plus IBMN is equal to I2 plus IBMX. So from this let me write the expression for I2. I2 will become I1 plus IBMN minus IBMX. This side it will come this side. So I2 will become I1 plus IBMN minus IBMX. So rewriting this expression by taking minus as out. So I1, I2 is equals to I1. If I take minus common that becomes IBMX minus IBMN. So now let me call this IBMX minus IBMN as delta IB. So I can rewrite this expression as I2 is equals to I1 minus delta IB where delta IB is IBMX minus IBMN. Remember that IBMX is the leakage current of identical thyristors in the, sink, in the string whereas IBMN is the leakage current of the unique SCR which is having different leakage current. So this difference is given as delta IB. So this is what is expression 5. Now the voltage across the SCR1 that is this SCR is VBMN which is equal to we know the current through this resistor R. So which is I1 into R. So VBMN is I1 into R. So voltage across SCR1 is VBMN is equals to I1 into R. Let it be equation 6. Now similarly, I am going to find out the voltage across remaining n minus 1 SCRs. So this SCR will have I2 into R. This SCR will also have I2 into R as the voltage across it. And similarly, this LCR will also have I2 into R. So totally there are n minus 1 SCRs. So the voltage from this point till this point is n minus 1 into I2 into R. So voltage across n minus 1 SCRs is n minus 1 into I2 into R. Let it be equation 7. So you can see that the colors of equation is based on the colors of the uh, SCRs used in the string. The green is the common expressions. Now the total string voltage Vs is this voltage plus all these voltages. That is expression 6 plus 7 is the total voltage across the uh, string. That is voltage across the string, string voltage. So string voltage Vs is given by Vs is equals to I1 into R plus N minus 1 into I2 into R. So this is what about the expression uh, old across the voltage across the string expression. Next let us substitute expression 5 and expression 6 in expression 8. Expression 5 is I2 equal to I1 minus delta IB. So I here I have I2. Instead of this I2, I am going to substitute this I1 into I1 minus delta into IB. And instead of this V1 into R, I am going to substitute expression 6. That is I1 into R, I am going to substitute expression 6, which is VBM. So instead of this I1 into R, I am going to substitute VBM. And instead of this I2, I am going to substitute this expression 5, which will give me Vs is equals to VBM plus N minus 1 into I1 minus delta IB into R. So simple simplification of this will give me Vs is equals to VBM. Just I multiply this N minus 1 with this and I will get N into I1 into R. N into I1 into R minus N into delta IB into R minus N into delta IB into R minus I1 into R minus minus plus delta IB into R. All these expressions are just simple multiplication of these two. And rearranging this, just reassemble this here and this here. Just relocate these two in order to make this I1 into R to bring this side. So rearranging this, VBM plus N into I1 into R. This I1 into R will bring it front. So minus I1 into R minus N delta IB into R plus delta IB into R. Now I can take I1 into R, I1 into R. Uh, minus del n delta IB into R plus n delta IB into R. So I just substitute equation 6 which is I1 into R is VBM. So VBM plus n into instead of this I am going to substitute VBM. n into VBM minus VBM 
minus n delta i b into r plus delta i b into r. Here I can take delta i b into r as common. So which will give me a simple simplification. V b m plus n into V b m minus V b m minus n minus 1 into delta i b into r. Delta i b into r just take it, take, it, take it common out. So this V b m and this V b m will get cancelled. So this will give me V s is equals to n into V b m minus n minus 1 into delta i b into r. So from the above expression if I try to find out the voltage across the unique string which is not having leakage current equal to the other strings that is this particular uh, SCR I am talking about that VBM is equal to Vs plus this voltage n plus 1 n minus 1 into delta IB into R divided by n. So this is the voltage across this particular SCR. This is what I am trying to equalize for which this resistance has to be inserted. Now this resistance R can be calculated as n into VBM minus Vs divided by n minus 1 into delta IB. So if I insert this resistance in all these SCRs, then this voltage imbalancing problem can be solved. This is what all about static voltage equalizing in series connections of SCRs. In this lecture, we have discussed the necessity of series and parallel connections of SCRs and we have looked into the voltage imbalancing problem which occurs in the series connection of SCR and we given a solution for it by using static voltage equalizing circuit by putting a resistance R across each SCR connected in series and we have also discussed about the utilization factor which can be determined by using the string efficiency. In the next lecture, we will talk about the dynamic equalization of series connected SCRs and parallel operation of SCRs. Thank you for your patient listening. Thank you.